In this video, we will explore the listening section of Simplified 360. After logging into your account, click on Listen to open your listening section. Here, you can see the list of keyword profiles, which have been created by an admin of the account. If you are an admin of the account, you can create new keyword profiles, edit existing profiles, or archive old profiles. If you are not an admin, then you will be able to see only keyword profiles that have been shared with you by the admin. In order to create a new profile, you simply need to click on Create New Profile. You can also open a comparison dashboard of more than two profiles by selecting them and clicking on the Compare button. You can even access the list of keyword profiles from the drop-down box if you have a huge number of them. In order to view all of your archived, paused, or running profiles, you can choose from the drop-down menu to filter your list of keyword profiles. Now, let's view the configuration of one of the keyword profiles. Click on the Edit Profile button to open up the configuration setting of the keyword profiles. Every keyword profile has four different stages of creation. The first one is where you define the name of the keyword profile, allocate a relevant volume to the keyword profile, and select from your team members with whom you want to share the profile. The second stage consists of keyword query formation where you provide a list of relevant keywords and phrases which you want to track. The settings allow you to choose from three different logics, AND, OR, and NOT. The third stage consists of regional and language targeting. Generally, this stage can be skipped unless you have a very specific requirement or condition where you need to filter out conversations from a particular region only. In the last stage, you provide lists of social profiles which you want to track along with the keywords which you have provided. This stage is optional and is unrelated to the keywords which you have provided in Stage 2. You would only want to use this option when you are required to monitor a complete activity happening on yours or that of your competitor's Twitter channel, Facebook channel, or other social channel listed here. Once you are done with your four stages, the system will start listening to the web and bring any new conversations which meet the keyword combinations provided in Stage 2 of the profile settings. You can edit your keyword query settings anytime you like. The recommended practice here is to review your collected conversations from time to time and change your keyword settings accordingly to receive better results. It is a hit and trail method. So this is how you can create or edit a keyword profile in Simplify 360. Next, we will explore the listening dashboards of Simplify 360. By default in the list of keyword profiles, you can view the trend graph and the volume metrics of the profile. You can see the change in the volume of conversations collected per day or per week basis. In order to access the dashboard, you can either click on the name of the keyword profile or click on the dashboard link here. The dashboard section is completely customizable. Hence, every user will be able to see only graphs and charts which he or she has set up. The only default dashboard that everyone can see is the summary dashboard. The summary dashboard displays the most important metrics, like the change in the volume of conversations, distribution of the conversation among different platforms, and the favorability of the conversations, indicating either the negative or positive sentiment of people. There are basically two different types of metrics which you can display on the dashboard. One is related with the analysis of the conversations, its trend, its audience, and the platforms. The other is related with the performance of your team members, or also commonly known as agents. In the team performance metrics, you can view the response time of your team, the real-time status of the task which is being assigned, and task details of your agents. In order to create your own dashboards, simply click on Add New Dashboard. This takes you to the template settings, which you can also access from the setting menu on the left-hand side. In the template settings, you can choose from the default templates or create your own. In your default templates, you can have five different templates according to different business use cases. Once you click on the template, 
the system will automatically create the dashboards for you. If you want to create your own dashboard, click on New Template. Here, you can provide your own name, add your own layout, and choose your own graph. Let me simply create a basic trend dashboard. First, I will choose my layout and click on the empty space to open up the list of metrics which I can place on the layout. Let me choose the first one, Buzz Trend. Now, click on Save Template to create the dashboard. Once you have created your dashboards, you can edit, delete, or share them. Click on the Share button to open the list of team members or agents to choose from. You can edit while you are viewing the dashboards as well. Simply click on the Edit button to open an edit setting. Besides viewing the dashboards, you can also export them into PDF format or drill down the dashboard with the social filters available. You can choose different settings from the social filter to display the graphs and charts accordingly. Besides the customizable dashboard, we also have an influencer dashboard where you can view the list of influencers who are talking about your brand or the keywords which you have provided in the profile settings. You can view the influencers from Twitter and Facebook. You can also filter them with respect to their followers and followings. In the list, you can view the profile details of the influencers and update which they have made. You can also download this list on an Excel sheet. In order to view the actual messages which have been captured by the system, click on the Message section. This is the most important section where you can manage all your tasks and carry out your social CRM activities. In the Message section, you can download the messages, highlight messages, and also assign the messages to your agents. Along with every message, you can view the details of the person who made the update and also view the list of actions which you can carry out on the message. More detailed explanations of the messages will be covered in later videos. You can also access your comparison dashboard from here, where you can choose different profiles and compare their trends. In addition to this, the Listen section is full of other advanced features which you can access from its settings. You can create email alerts and receive regular email digests of your dashboard. You can create automated workflow to auto-assign and create tasks. You can create auto-tags to group your messages into different categories. You can create widgets to embed in your websites to capture customer feedbacks or generate leads. And you can also create surveys, which you can publish and run on your social channels. In addition, the admin will also have access to priority setting, where the admin can define the priority scores accordingly. The details of every feature of the Listen section can be accessed from the manual, which we have on simplify360.com forward slash help, and they will also be covered in other detailed videos. For now, these are the basics of the listening section of Simplify360 and how you can use it to monitor keywords and channels customize your dashboards, and access the messages, not to forget the list of other advanced functionalities of the section. Thank you.